Hello everyone, I'm Reza Tangesani and in this video I'm going to show you what are increment and step time and how you can use them. As a part of introduction, I'm gonna show you these in Abacus. When you create a model in Abacus and you create a step, you have three bar basic incrementation and other. In the basic, you can define your time period, which is step time. For example, in here it is one. So if we are creating a tensile test, putting one means that it's gonna happen in one second. The other one is incrementation, which has four sections. The increment size initial represents the time increment for the first increment. So in here it is 0.1, which means that the first increment size is 0.1. Second one is minimum increment size. Every increment, I mean number two, number three, and the next increments gonna be larger than this value. If it goes lower than that, gonna interrupt. The third one is maximum increment time. For here it is one second. And it is worth to mention that the, it's uh, based on the Abacus recommendation for a static general model. It is better to have the initial increment time 10% of the, the step time. The other section is the maximum number of increments, which now is 100. In here, the number of increments cannot go further one than 100. In fact, the abacus divides the process which we are, we are going to model into the smaller increment time, then it tries to solve it. So if put the initial increment one second in here, it's gonna solve the whole process in one increment. But there is another question. What is the size of the increment? We can modify the initial increment, but we don't have control over the increments after the first one. So I'm going to give you an example to clear it how it works. For example, if you are modeling a tensile test, as you can see in here, and we are holding a bar from the uh, bottom side and we are pulling from the other side, first increment, you're going to see that the, most of the parts are in the elastic zone, as you can see it's in here. So in the first increment, most of the part uh, is in the elastic zone. The, equ the equation for elastic is same for all over the material. The second uh, increment happen and after that you're gonna see still all the parts are in elastic zone. For the third increment, the formulation would be same for all material, but we will see that the region of parts in the plastic group, so the formulation should be different. By using the same size for increment, Abacus is not going to be able to solve the equation, so it needs to reduce the increment size, formulate the elements be able to predict the stress. As you can see in here, by changing the increment size and considering the new formulation, Abacus would be able to do that. It happens by increasing the plastic region. Every time that the plastic region increase needs to decrease the formulation, consider the new formulation for the part. And it happens till the job completed. But there is still one question how it works. Let's go back to our example. In our example, uh, let's assume that the initial increment was 0.1 and then for the second one, it increases to 0.2. It depends on the iteration in the material and our model. And based on that, the increment size can be increased or be the same value. For the third one, tries to increase to 0.4, but plastic region occurs. For this purpose, it divided the increment time to, and make it half, but this, there is an unexpected region in the plastic region. So again, one more time, Abacus decrease the increment time. It again divided by two and make it 0.1 and still has the same problem. So after that, one more time, it divided by two and make it 0.05. Now, the expected plastic region is acceptable for Abacus and it can move on with the for a new formulation for the plastic region. This is how it works, but there is one more point that it happens five times. And after the fifth time, Abacus job would be interrupted and said too many attempts. So whenever you face with uh, too many attempts error, you need to check your initial increment, the maximum increment size, and the minimum increment size. Okay, I think I gave you the most important notes about the increment. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, watch us, uh, watch our website for, and download the PowerPoint file and the Abacus file. If you need more information, you can contact us and ask your question in our website. Uh, until the next video, bye.